Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? I want to forewarn you before you get into this video, you're probably not going to like it. If you're watching this point of it, you probably found it on my channel, you've got it in a search result somehow, or for some reason you started this video at the beginning. And really this is a VR to a video I shot a few years ago. I keep getting a lot of specific questions on that last video that I'm tired of answering over and over again. So what I'm doing here is making a video response and I'm going to link this response on that other video. Basically, just since you've clicked on the video, I'll tell you what ended up happening was I built um, a walking stick a few years ago and I made it out of carbon fiber. I get a lot of great comments, a lot of positive feedback and support on it, but every once in a while some guy bubbles to the surface warning me about the dangers of exploding carbon fiber. And I'm really tired of answering the question over and over again. So what I'm doing is I'm going to do a video response, link it, and they can come here and watch it. Um, what I'm going to do, you're more than welcome to stick around and hear what I have to say because it's kind of a little emotional rant, so I'm probably going to get a little pissed and I might even drop a few F-bombs. So if you're curious and want to stick around, by all means, it's going to fade out to black, fade back in, and then I'm going to start my response. And um, if I've piqued your curiosity enough, go ahead and click the link in the description below and you can watch the video that started all this. But I have to warn you, I wasn't really that good at making videos, I was kind of long-winded, and it was so-so. Um, you know, it's not, not one of my best work. I'm not saying I'm, you know, J.J. Abrams or Scorsese or anything like that today. But if you watch my current videos, you might get a good laugh out of that. And again, I'm warning you, it's long-winded. You know, you can watch it, you better be ready. It's like 20, 30 minutes long, something like that. Anyway, uh, I'm going to shut up, let it fade out and fade back in. I hope you stick around. If not, you guys have a great day. Hey guys, well, if you're watching this video, that's because you either A, click the link on the Ultimate Survival Staff video and you want to hear my response to the inevitable question, or I've piqued your curiosity in the intro when you're sticking around. Either way, thanks for being here. Um, I get a lot of questions about using carbon fiber on that, on that uh, hiking staff that I made. Some people want to know where I got it, some people ask me how tall it is, how much it costs, a lot of basic questions. Every so often, however, I get you get these people that ask me questions about, you know, warning me about the dangers of the mythical exploding carbon fiber or what kind of an idiot am I to use carbon fiber when it blows up at the slightest little chip. And I get all these, you know, rants of, of, of every level. From now on, I'm not going to answer those questions because if you want to know, you're going to have to click that link and come here and watch the video. So at the end of the day, let me just explain to you a couple of the uses of carbon fiber. And once I read this list to you, you'll understand why I was comfortable using it for a walking staff. Here goes. Common uses for carbon fiber include, but are not limited to, the following. Tennis rackets, running shoes, bicycles, golf clubs, rowing shells, sailboats, gliders, fishing rods, surfboards, ice hockey sticks, archery arrows, cricket bats, baseball bats, helmets, various automotive parts, consumer, as well as NASCAR, formula, and drag racing, Space shuttle parts, civil engineering, yes people, that's construction. Aircraft parts, clothing, prosthetics. Prosthetics, that's artificial limbs. Hello, Blade Runner, does that guy ring a bell? 2012, 400 meter dash, gold medal winner, carbon fiber legs, ran his happy ass off. He didn't blow up, and he was running 400 meters. The bottom line is, carbon fiber is entrusted for a lot of different uses out there. Yes, there is the possibility of catastrophic failure with carbon fiber. You could find that everywhere. What most what most people aren't realizing is that catastrophic failure occurs after the maximum tensile strength has been exceeded. Now, the tensile strength, which is something I never mentioned in the video before. I never ever brought up the stat sheets to go over the specs of that item. In fact, I will say that my niece's husband, who's a freaking engineer, did have a chance to look at the spec sheets when he was over one day because he wanted to see what I was doing with carbon fiber. Looked at it, went over it, reviewed it, and said, wow, this is going to be well beyond anything you'll ever need. I got his buy-in to use it as a hiking staff. You don't have any idea what the specifications were on it, and in fact, neither do I anymore because it's been over two years, and I've since gotten rid of the hiking staff, and I don't, have, I don't even have the receipt for the purchase. At the end of the day, the piece that I bought was the remnant part of a larger piece that was used in some level of, of construction for supports for something. I don't know what the hell it was. The guy said it was, it was used as part of a support structure. That's all I know. I trust that it's going to hold 
two, 300 pound man, large guy walking through the woods. Easy enough. And if you're going to tell me, and if you're confident that your hiking ability runs the same risk as a, let's say, baseball bat that's required to smack a 90 mile an hour fastball off into the distance, or maybe hockey sticks, or automotive parts that get hit all the time, or parts for the space shuttle, or if you're like the Blade Runner, and you, if you're putting your hiking staff through that level of intense stress when you're walking through the woods, you're doing it wrong, all wrong, and, and take a class. Mountain bikes. Nobody out there hiking puts their hiking pole through the same levels of stress as a guy riding his mountain bike through the mountains. Bump, bopping over rocks, jumping off of cliffs, riding over the edge. Now I'm sure right now somebody out there is Googling pictures and images and, and videos and they're ready to post all over the place going, well here's the guy that did this. I'm going to tell you right now, your video response, your factoid, your whatever better be substantiated by hard concrete evidence to prove that it's going to explode under normal usage when hiking. I don't care about the exploding carbon fiber when two race cars doing 150 miles an hour slapped into a wall or when a guy using his carbon fiber helmet had his helmet blow up when he was going 150 down the road and ran into a brick wall. I'm talking normal usage. One thing that was left off this list and left it off intentionally because I wanted to highlight it. Hiking poles. Hiking poles. Walk into any sporting goods store and buy yourself a hiking pole. You, you have the option of using carbon fiber. It's not going to explode. Stop pretending it is. Stop trying to prove to the world that you're this genius that's going to go around, you know, fact finding behind everybody. Just because you've got a Google search bar doesn't mean you've got the right answers. I'm certain, guarantee that you're going to be able to find instances where carbon fiber ha had a catastrophic failure. However, the application you give me an example on better be comparable to the intended use for the item I gave you. Because I don't give, a, I don't care what kind of X game ninja combat martial arts hiking you think you do. I promise you, it still doesn't equate to the same level of stress as that carbon fiber is trusted and expected to put up with on most of this list that I gave that I read to you just a few minutes ago. I'm sorry if I seem emotional, but I get this question all the time, and some of you guys out there are pretty passionate with your answers. Some of you guys I got so irate about it that when I turn around and put you in your place with links. You deleted your comment after the fact. Don't think I don't know it. I read it in the email. It came to me before you deleted it, so I saw it. At the end of the day, guys, I'm sorry if I'm upset about all this, and I'm sorry if you're taking offense to this. If you're just curious and you linked over here, that's fine. But if you're one of those guys who feel like they're Captain Cocky and they can't wait to prove everybody wrong, I'm going to tell you that you're wrong. And you're wrong right now. You know, and if you just came here because you want to know, consider yourself educated. If you came here because you want to prove me wrong, it's not going to work. That's it. Go enjoy the rest of the video. You guys have a great day. Now. Now. Get that cat out of here before I kill it. Now. I don't know. I'm recording, so get the cat out. I'm not really going to kill it. I'll just hurt it a little. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Get the cat out of here. Get the cat out of here. Protect her now, then. Okay. All right, good. So, anyway, guys. Sorry about that little interruption. I wouldn't really kill a cat. Okay. So, um, what am I talking about? Okay. Now, again, take a class.